this is the Yoho River and the Yoho Valley right in front of the Kaka Falls. And if you have a few hours to kill, then I would suggest you come here and come enjoy a nice afternoon picnic on a little day hike that even young kids would kind of enjoy this little area here. Definitely keep an eye on your kids because this is definitely a dangerous area. There's a bridge I can see ahead of me right there and it crosses this river and it leads just straight to the falls. Let's get back on that bridge over there and cross over and let's look at what the, uh, the Kaka Falls looks like from close up. This is Takakwa Falls. And don't be fooled by the easy camera. This took me about a half an hour to set up and it's quite steep here, but it's a gorgeous little spot to come and check out here in Yoho National Park. As soon as you come into British Columbia from Banff National Park, you're gonna find this road that leads all the way up to the Ice Line Trail. There's a parking lot here and there's actually multiple backcountry campsites in here. And at the beginning of the road, there's also two campgrounds. There's the Monarch Campground and the Kicking Horse Campground. Excellent places to come and stay and come visit this place. The parking lot is quite limited and there's no signage to let you know if the parking lot's full. So you kind of have to come up here and figure it out. The actual road itself is super narrow in some spots. And there's a set of switchbacks you have to go up to get here and it's maybe seven meters max the required length of your vehicle. So if you have a trailer, an RV, don't come up here, you'll have to use a smaller vehicle. And at the bottom of the parking lot, there's a couple bridges, there's some restrooms, picnic tables, you can enjoy the waterfalls, and then there's a trail that leads all the way up. Like I went a little bit higher just to get a closer look and I wanted to see kind of the gorge and everything that the waterfall has shaped over the years. Up top there, Oh, I can see him coming down. There's somebody that's actually rappelling down the bottom of this right now. It's quite impressive. So on top of there, it's kind of flat and that's where the ice fields start. Waterfall basically has an infinite amount of water. Uh, this will never pretty much run out unless that whole glacier melts, which uh, hopefully we're not around when that happens. So if you come visit the area at Yoho National Park, this is definitely a must see to get deep up into this valley. It's a gorgeous area. It reminds me a lot of Edith Cabell, how it's kind of a narrow valley and they made a road as far as they can to get people in here. Uh, in 2024, we're gonna have to come back here and camp. Uh, my schedule was too filled this year, so I didn't have the chance to come. I was actually supposed to come here last year. I booked my campground a little bit too early, like late June, and everything was still closed then because last year we had a really, really slow melt. So keep that in mind if you're planning a trip here, try to avoid June altogether. Try to go July, August, September. September is probably the better time because there's a lot more stuff melted and you might actually get access to more cool spots here. Well, this is Takaka Falls here in Yoho National Park. And I'm Eric Trombley, and these are my adventures. Peace out.